So for this particular squash cross, I've got one here that is Madison's cross. That is a yellow straight neck type of squash that I developed that comes from, um, well, several different squashes. I won't get into detail on that, but I've talked about it many times over the year. It is an open pollinated um, squash, meaning that the seeds come true every year and it's a phenomenal squash. What I've got in the middle, I've also got a second one right here. Same exact uh, breeding, same exact plant as this one. So that one, that, that breeding is called, that cultivar or variety is called Madison's Cross. And I've been breeding that and finishing it since I think 2014, 2015, somewhere in there. In between the two is a bush delicata. What you see before you are the Feroche Delicat seed. This is a cross between my yellow straight neck that I love so much and a deli bush delicata. Um, what I'm doing is I'm grading the seed. Now I harvested this seed after the plants had died. The, the squash itself, there was two of them actually, two different plants, but the squash stayed on the vine for about 45 days from the time it started growing um, or it was pollinated. So about um, the, the ideal time is at least a month past the time that you would normally harvest it. And so this has sat on the plant for a really long time. So one of the indicators is a darker color. So like they're like a, a pretty bright yellow color when they're harvested for eating and they turn, turn kind of an orangish color when they're ready for harvest. This particular variety does. All right, so this cross is considered a hybrid because you have two highly inbred lines. You have the Delicata, which is highly inbred. It's also referred to in the gardener world as open pollinated, meaning every time you save the seed, it will remain the same. And my squash, Madison's Cross, was also highly inbred or open pollinated. So when you cross two high, uh, highly inbreds, it be, you get what's called a hybrid. And the hybrid is highly consistent. Each plant, each seed will produce a plant that looks almost identical. And that's why a lot of the big seed companies use hybrids uh, because they can breed inbred lines and then cross them. And that means that you would have to come back to them for seed because the seeds are hot from a hybrid and hybrid seeds can be saved but they're not gonna be consistent. They're not gonna be the same thing. And that's true with this particular case because my yellow squash is yellow. It's pretty straight and smooth and it looks, you know, nice. And then the, the Delicata is a striped, a little bit more oblong and a little bit bigger squash. And it's normally eaten as a winter squash, but um, the flesh and everything's completely different. And so when you cross those two, it's going to pick certain traits that are dominant and present that way. I don't know what it's going to look like yet. I'm going to find out this year. Um, but if you save the seeds, they could go all kinds of directions. If you save the hybrid seed, it could go to where it looks kind of like a delicata, kind of like a yellow summer, It'd just be all over the place. And that's why it's not the best to save hybrid seed. Best to save open pollinated. So the seed before you, I harvested yesterday, and it's been sitting on a paper plate. You can see it says Madison times uh, cross with Delicata here, and I'm gonna put it back on that in a minute. But for this video, I wanted to grade the seed. The employee is selecting for smaller seed. Smaller seed, if it passes through to the squash itself, it also makes for better eating because the seed is smaller. So grade A, grade B, uh, and um, this will be completely separate. I'll put them in two different bags, and then those two bags will go in a singular bag uh, that is the cross itself. Now this is grade C, and grade C seed is seed that isn't quite plump and may, I'm going to put it here, and may not be the best seed 
for saving. I'll give it a few more days because it may thin even further and not be viable. And so this is potential seed that will, I will grade again and it'll go probably in the grade B uh, seed packet. Um, and then this far on the far side here is seed that is definitely not or probably not any good. It's very thin seed. Let me get it here. Let's see if I can show it to you. The seed is thin. It's um, it, the embryo on the inside is probably not going to develop. And so it's not going to be good. And so this will be trash. And the, gr <clears throat> excuse me, the grade C will be potential grower uh, and, and will be moved into grade B if, they, uh, if I don't remove any and put into the trash here. And so what will end up happening is B and C will move into second best option and these nice plump small seed will be the first planting. And so I've got about 42 seed here between, there was two plants and each two fruits from two different plants. And each fruit typically produces around 100 seed. So altogether it's about 200. This has 42 in it. This particular one has 21, 72, and a whole lot of non-viable seed probably. But I'm gonna toss these right after this video anyway. So. It won't even matter. I'm not even going to consider them. I have plenty of seed here to grow out the hybrid Feroche Delicat. And there you have it. I know it's Madison times Delicata. I've tentatively called this Feroche Delicat. Um, if it pans out, that's what it'll be. We've got grade one, grade two, and grade three, just like I discussed. Now this plate will be put in an area to further dry the seed. How long do we gotta stay here For people we don't know in one line All of the clothes are designed Fast cars and who knows who Yeah, I know what they wanna say They're gonna ask me if I'm gonna make it I don't care if I'm gonna have to fake it Long as I can be real